Okay, I'm on an incredible new journey, and that is starting up my newsletter, which is something I've tried to start up for a long time now. What I want to do is kind of just document my journey of starting up my newsletter around my tech forward product review business, which you're very aware of if you're subscribed to this channel. It's gonna be a series of videos, three of them. The first one is gonna be this one, which is how I'm moving everything from Substack over to Beehive. The second video is going to be how I'm gonna grow my audience on my newsletter using Beehive's resources. And that's what got me so excited about Beehive. We'll get into all of that soon, I promise. We'll even dive into it a little bit with this video. Third video is gonna be how I made money off my newsletter. So here's the thing. I don't know how much money I'm gonna make off of this, and I don't know how many subscribers for my newsletter I'm gonna grow off this, but I'm gonna bring you all along for the journey. We're gonna set up the website, or I'm gonna show you how I set up my website and how I intend to use this website and grow my newsletter using Beehive's tools. If at any time during this video, you wanna check out Beehive for yourself, there will be a link in the description. Enough with the introduction. I'm really excited to show you how easy it is to move from Substack to Beehive in today's video. But before we do, I'm going to first show you the new site, which is on Beehive, which I just recently, I'm still working through some of the kinks and quirks, but it's been super easy to use. So I really wanted a nice, minimal, intentional website to showcase one, our products that we love the most, that we have reviewed, but also to have a blog section, right? So here is where we're doing blog versions and newsletter of our full reviews. So you can see it looks amazing. You know, I've picked and chosen things based on design and aesthetic. I wanna show you quickly like the old site, which is just one of their templates on Substack. I was trying to go for a very minimal thing. This looks more to me like an actual like news site. It's cool, there's popular sections and things like that, but I, I still kinda of thought this was a little too much for what I was trying to achieve. And I couldn't really figure out a way of doing like products and blogs and stuff like that. So that said, it's very easy. Let's come in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sort of mock this up because I've already pulled in a lot of this content, but I wanna show you all how easy it is to do this. So let's say we want to, where's import, content import. So you can see I already did it from Substack, but let's do it again. So I'm gonna say Substack. All right, I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna do all of my free, this is really cool. So if you're pretty well established on Substack, you have paywalled content, audio recordings, video content, you can sort of set all that up. I wasn't really that advanced with it yet, so I just had my free content. I'm gonna hit next. You literally just drop, let's see, where's the, here was my Substack link. Drop it in there. It's validating the URL. Successfully validated, finish import. There we go, now it's processing. And it's literally gonna pull in all of my posts from Substack and like format them and make them all Beehive-esque. All right, so while that's importing, I kinda wanna walk through Beehive because I think this is pretty cool. The thing that was most exciting to me about Beehive, these different tools they've baked into the system that allow you to grow your audience and then monetize them. And I'll be honest with you, it doesn't even have to be in that order. How to monetize your audience, then grow your audience. Because one of the coolest things here is ads are built in to the platform. So if I come over here, I have three new opportunities for ads, okay? So Riverside, if you've heard of Riverside before, is on here. Google AdSense is advertising on here. Beehive, of course, is advertising on Beehive. So it's as easy as setting up Let's say I want to work with Riverside, and let's say I want to use, that's kind of a longer ad. That one's cool. Let's do it without the logo. It's a little bit shorter. I like the way this one looks because there's this, this person sitting here recording, so that looks nice. I hit next, and then I tell it the date that I'm planning to launch my newsletter. Let's say I put one out tomorrow. I actually don't want to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. I need to put out a newsletter tomorrow. <laughs> All right, and I'll say I'll do it later. So basically, I've committed to Riverside that I'm gonna advertise <laughs> their platform on here. And as you can see, if someone clicks on that ad, I get paid whatever is here. This is the cost per click. Okay, so you could have 10 subscribers, and if all 10 of them click, you're gonna get 10 times you know, $2.25, right? So you're gonna get paid 20 bucks for your newsletter of 10 subscribers. So like monetizing your newsletter is just baked in from the start. It's fantastic. So there's that. There's other ways you can monetize too. Let's come back out of ads, go back to monetize. You can do boosts, right? Which is basically if 
monetize your newsletter by boosting other publications. Okay, so if I send this out and someone subscribes to the final tally or they subscribe to any of these that I choose to apply, right? Then I'll get $4 for a subscriber and I can make up to $400. Right. So if I get 100 subscribers for this newsletter, then they pay me. This newsletter pays me $400 because I help them get those subscribers. So that's sort of a cool network here where you're saying, you know, Big Desk Energy is the founder of Beehive. That's his newsletter. I can get $2 per subscriber. I send his way. Right. And on the flip side, which we'll get into in a second, but I could do this, too. So in the grow section, I could say I'm willing to pay a dollar for every time someone helps me get a subscriber and you can see what those publications are that have chosen to work with you. It's cool. You can kind of like filter this out. You can decide like what the categories are, like, are they well aligned kind of thing too. And if someone decides they want to help boost your newsletter, you can accept or deny them. Right? So maybe it's not a good fit and you're like, ah, I don't really know that our audiences match up. I don't really want those types of subscribers, that kind of thing. You have full control over that. You can also do paid subscriptions, right? So if maybe you have one post a month that's paid and only paid subscribers can read it, that's a way you can make money here too. And then they recently added products, right? So if you want to do different links to <clears throat> affiliate things or what access to websites, you know, webinars or courses, there's coaching on here, a file download, right? So if you're selling, you know, iPhone backgrounds or something, you can do that on here. So bye bye Gumroad bye-bye convert kit, that kind of thing. Beehive is just kind of doing it all. They just released a ton of new features last month, I think, which got me even more excited to use it. It's so cool. You can monetize almost immediately, okay? Now, the second part that's exciting to me is this whole growth section, right? So again, recommendations. I put four top recommendations of other publications that I like to read, other newsletters, and then people could do that for you too. Right. And the, if you do all four of these, you get sort of like advertised to other newsletters that you would be a good fit for them, too. So that's like a zero cost way of doing that, which is cool. As I mentioned, boosts. So I can come in here and say a new offer. Right. So I'm going to pay two dollars and fifty cents every time I get a subscriber. Let's hit continue. So I can say standard. It, there's a verification process. Right. So it's not just going to be bots and stuff like that. Like they actually go through that, which is, you know, they've got a couple different layers here. So it takes them a while, maybe 10 to 17 days to really say that it's a good quality subscriber, but that's just helpful. You don't want your newsletter filled with bots and fake emails, right? You want it to be actual people who are going to be clicking on links and buying things and engaging with you. So this sort of vetting process baked in is I think absolutely fantastic. You can set the location you want them to live in and then go through that process. There's also a referral program. So if you've ever been on something like, let's see, like morning brew, for instance, and at the very bottom of all their emails, it's like, if you, if you get five people to subscribe to our newsletter, you get a coffee mug, or if you get 10 people to subscribe, you get a hat, right? And it doesn't have to be like actual physical products. Maybe they get a secret download or a special iPhone wallpaper if they get people to subscribe. And then magic links are these links where like, it's a little complicated, but if you're familiar with it, like there's places you can put this magic link where if someone clicks on it, they immediately get subscribed to your newsletter. So it's a very low friction point of entry to help grow your newsletter as well. So that was a lot. There is a lot here. Now, if you're like me and you don't really know how to do a lot of this stuff, there is such a robust, like, help system and like support system and whether that's like content they've made they make a ton of videos on how to do a lot of this stuff okay so you can see here it's pulled in all my previous blog posts so here is one for teenage engineering here's what it would look like here are all the links that i had in there this is pulled directly from substack so it's all in here but it was that simple in the time it took me to show you some of the features of beehive all of my other content from Substack is pulled in. So now that I have that set up, I'll show you again. Here's my website, super simple, super easy, which by the way, if you enjoy the content we make here, please consider subscribing to the newsletter. This is going to be a place where you're going to get access to like a lot of these new products that we find that we might not even do a review on. Okay. So this is a place <laughs> this is a place where you can learn about the types of products we love that marry form and function. That's why this is called Form and Function Co. We've got hundreds of subscribers already, which 
I want to point this out because you probably noticed negative five subscribers. I haven't been sending newsletters and recently with my new strategy for 2026, I am releasing a newsletter every time a new review goes live on our website. So I've lost some people who aren't really interested in that, which is totally fine. But I also haven't put any of the growth measures into place to grow my newsletter. That will be video two. I'm really eager to kind of try out some of those strategies and see if they actually work. But you can see I have 371 active subscribers. So please subscribe. Let's grow that number. The ultimate goal here for me, if I'm being completely honest, is to grow my newsletter because I think it's kind of a good shift in an extra resource and extra bit of content that I create for you all, which is going to be really special. Oh, I wanted to show you this too, just because the way I sort of set up my website, you use this website builder. It's very drag and drop, very simple. If you've ever done anything like Squarespace, anything like that, even Substack has some of this kind of stuff. It's just super easy to make changes, change your colors around, drag and drop, change backgrounds. There's like, this is more of like traditional like newsletter. Like you've got your hero post here, your sort of top posts here on the side maybe. So anyway, here's pricing. I've seen this compared to like convert kit or I think it's just called kit now. It is way more affordable and a lot of the features I've shown you today are here in the free version. And then of course, as you're you know, growing your audience, maybe you're wanting to get into the net ad network or the boost network, you start to get in some of that, but you can definitely try it for free again at the link down in the description. So I love Beehive. I love everyone I've been talking to there, which that's good to know too. I feel like a lot of reviewers don't really talk about that, but the company itself is just so kind and fun and it's great. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Subscribe if you're new to check out part two, where we're going to be talking about growing our newsletter. And my hope would be to grow it to like, I don't know, maybe a thousand subscribers by the end of 2026. So the next video is going to come out in January. So between now and then we're going to try and use some of the features here to see how much we can grow. And then again, video three, which will probably be February, March, we're going to see how much money I can make off of using the built-in ads and stuff like that on the platform too. So thanks so much for watching. Thanks to BI for sponsoring this video. Links in the description. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new. Watch this video next. I think you're going to love it. And we'll see you all in the next one.